All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. In this one, we're going to be doing a video giving our thoughts on a recent sort of uh, leak or information released regarding the second half of The Walking Dead Season 9, all of the episode titles, and some descriptions as well as The Walking Dead going through wintertime, a blizzard coming. Hmm. And possible spoiler warning, if you don't want to know any of this uh, information, if you do, the link will be in the description so you guys can check this one out from comicbook.com, as well as, I think, uh, spoiling uh, the dead fans, uh, yeah, the spoiling the dead fans uh, group uh, have kind of found this somehow, <laughs> I don't know how, um, but it's, uh, it, okay, here's what it says, it says, the Walking Dead leaked episode synopsis is, reveal a ferocious blizzard is coming. Winter is coming to The Walking Dead. Leaked episode titles and descriptions hint at the coming conflict with the Whispers and a ferocious blizzard pitting the survivors uh, against on-screen snow for the first time in The Walking Dead's nine-year history. Uh, the title and episode descriptions were first compiled by a spoiler group, the Spoiler the Dead fans, so, so episode 11, uh, Bounty. Okay, that's what episode 11 is called, so we've got nine courses tonight. Uh, and then uh, 10 next week, and then Bounty, episode 11. And it says, synopsis from Zap to it, the savage group led by Alpha confronts the hilltop in a narrowing attempt to retrieve her daughter. A supply run for the kingdom turns into a dangerous quest. So that's number uh, 11. Um, so it sounds like that might be the episode where we see Daryl meet at the hilltop with uh, Alpha. So that's still probably a couple episodes to come. We've seen the promos for that. But based on that description, that really looks like what we're going to see in that episode. So that should be really exciting, um, you know, to see go through with uh, with Daryl and with the Hilltop and uh, and the Whispers. Uh, episode 12, the title is Guardians. Uh, and this one is directed by Greg Nicotero, so hopefully it'll be uh, a good one. Um, it says, while one community struggles to ease tensions that threaten to divide from within, the true nature of another group comes into focus. A mission to rescue a friend has deadly consequences. Hmm, so maybe a character death in episode 12. We'll have to have to see, that's what it sounds like. So community struggle to ease tensions uh, that threaten to divide from within. So so how they're maybe how they're gonna deal with the whispers, how they're gonna deal with this threat, what they're going to do, and um, you know, someone who's been captured as we, we well, maybe not everybody's seen the uh, the premiere yet, but you guys, if you guys have, you know kind of uh, what, uh, what that's looking like so far. Episode 13 title is Choke Point. Uh, this one's directed by uh, Liesl Tommy, who says, uh, or the, uh, the synopsis says, uh, Daryl's daring rescue mission uh, forces Alpha to unleash a group of her own to retrieve what belongs to her, even if the price is paid in blood. The kingdom's plans to reunite the communities are put in jeopardy. So... Yeah, so so basically, as you got things going through here in the second half, of course, you have kind of the groups that have sort of been splintered uh, after the time skip. You know, you have Alexandria, you have the Hilltop, you have the Kingdom, and they're not unified like they used to be. They're not sort of uh, in good uh, relations with each other. There's some awkwardness, there's some uh, standoffishness, and so they're not working well together right now. But of course, we have this huge threat coming in from the Whispers, and uh, obviously, you know, they would do a lot better to form together to face off against this threat uh, again. And it sounds like they're having some, some trouble with, uh, with that. Um, yeah, so Scars, uh, yeah, so an, ep uh, an outsider's arrival forces Alexandria to rehash devastating old wounds. Uh, Eye-opening secrets from the past are revealed. So maybe episode 14, Scars, will be about the ex-Scars on their back. Uh, backs of Michonne and Daryl, and maybe that will be a flashback episode, and that might be the one we might see uh, Tom Payne return as Jesus in, because it, it occurred during the time skip. So look for maybe episode 14 to possibly be a flashback episode, which um, could be interesting to see anyway, because there was a lot of years that passed during that time skip, and a lot of people have been wondering about the scars since we first saw them. Episode 15, titled The Calm Before, and then episode 16 is called The Storm. So I like this one. This is cool. Uh, so episode 15, synopsis from Sky Network. Uh, the fair at the kingdom is underway with all four communities coming together in celebration for the first time in years. While some packs are renewed, others or other deals uh, will come 
at a much steeper price. Uh, so this is really cool. And then episode 16, The Storm. So the calm before, and then The Storm is episode 16. Synopsis from uh, Showcase is uh, after, or in the aftermath of an overwhelming loss, the communities must uh, brave a ferocious blizzard as one group deals with an enemy from within, another is forced to make a life or death decision. Okay, so this sort of makes sense for me. You have the fair that takes place maybe in the fall or the autumn type of, uh, of time frame, right? And uh, episode 15, the calm before, sounds like that will probably be our big uh, episode. There might be some pretty big character deaths in that one. And then episode 16, the storm, is where we might see a, this ferocious blizzard come through and uh, sort of like a winter time for The Walking Dead, which would be very, very tricky to do, very strange to do, but that's what I expected. When I first read this, I thought, well, if they're going to do a blizzard in The Walking Dead, uh, and they're going to do uh, you know, some snow, which they've done in the comic book series uh, quite a few times. Here is one example. This is uh, earlier on in the series, uh, Miles Behind Us. This is volume two, but you can see it's got the blue, and this is Walking Dead, and you've got kind of the blizzard everywhere. And so that's kind of cool. So this is this is really old school. This is like you know not not equivalent in terms of time frame to where we are right now in The Walking Dead, but just to show that the Walking Dead comic book series did have some uh, some some wintertime sequences and some some snow and, and that kind of stuff. And it's cool to kind of see with the uh, with the um, you know the walkers all around. And they did say kind of at one part that they've been going around in circles all winter. Uh, but this one makes a lot of sense to me. This is what I thought they would do, because if they have to show the blizzard, if they have to, to show it in terms of uh, an episode, I was thinking that, okay, they'll probably have to use CG or something like that, or they'll have to move the cast and crew to a different location, you know, higher, higher north to do something like this, uh, and film some scenes that are not actually where they usually film in order to get the snowfall and everything like that. Uh, but that's kind of what I had figured, is that, uh, that we would see something like this in the last episode of the season, because... Then they could do the CG or they could do whatever trickery they have to do to show the blizzard, to show the storm in The Walking Dead. And then next season when you come back in season 10 in the premiere, winter will be over and it will be, um, you know, the start of springtime. And so it will be similar to season uh, 3 start uh, where they talk T-Dog, one of T-Dog's only lines that they have been going around in circles all winter. Um, you know, something like that. So they could kind of introduce it in the final episode that way it's you know easier to do because it'd be harder to do if you have to do it for many episodes and then probably next year when they come back in season 10 uh, you know it'll be gone but that's something cool because they haven't done that before uh, tricky to pull off though tricky to pull off in uh, where they film there uh, you know to do to do snowfall and to do that I guess you kind of have to move the location or something or uh, geez I don't know man how they're gonna pull that off CG or something I mean they can do some great stuff with CG nowadays so maybe that's what they'll have to do but uh, that sounds cool and uh, it also means that episode 15 could be a huge episode and a defining episode going forward for season 10 and the rest of the series episode 14 scars could be cool to see the flashback sequences and then all these other ones here going through as we see uh, tensions, uh, you know, uh, amount between the whispers and the uh, the survivors, and they aren't totally fully unified right now. Maybe what happens at the fair in episode 15 will uh, serve to unify them back again before this uh, this uh, this storm hits. So that's pretty cool. Something different, something new for The Walking Dead. A blizzard. Winter is coming, right? That's, uh, <laughs> that's strange uh, for The Walking Dead. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Uh, let me know what you think about these uh, episode descriptions. And, uh, you know, what else can you read into them from the titles? Uh, the Calm Before the Storm, Scars, Choke Point, Guardians, and Bounty. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you again soon for another. As always, this is Trev. And I'm saying peace. Later, guys. I'll see you soon.